Hello, welcome to the class course of IPv6. So today we are going to discuss about the IPv6 unicast address. So as in previous lecture, we have discussed about the type of addresses in IPv6. So in this class, now we are going to discuss about those addresses one by one. So starting with the first address, that is the unicast address. So in this lecture, I'm going to discuss about the type of unicast addresses and its address scope. So starting with the type of addresses, so first of all, what is the unicast address? So unicast addresses are the addresses that are given to a particular source and destination addresses. It means this is a one by one communication. There is a single address to the source and the single address is given to the destination and they have a communication in between the uh, sender and the receiver. So that is the unicast addresses that are given to the source and the destination address. So now the type of IPv6 unicast addresses are first one is global unicast address, the second one is link local address, third unique local addresses and fourth one is the special addresses and fifth one last is the embedded IPv4 addresses. So let's discuss about these types of unicast addresses. So first one is the Global unicast addresses. So IPv6 global unicast addresses are similar to that of IPv4 public IP addresses. So these as IPv4 public uh, public IPv4 addresses are assigned by INA. Same way these global unicast addresses are assigned by INA and it is used on a public network. So here these global unicast addresses have a prefix of 2000 double colon and it has a prefix notation as slash 3 and in binary representation of this uh, uh, particular prefix is given as 001 in the packet format. So these are the few points about the global unicast addresses. After that, these global uh, unicast addresses are divided into two parts having the subnet ID and the next one is the interface ID. So here the subnet ID contains the site prefix as well as the subnet ID. So these together makes the 64 bit long packet and interface ID it contains the part of MAC address of the interface or the device and it will constitute the 64 bit together. So let's discuss about the pack, its packet format. So here the first three bit uh, is 001 that is the uh, global unicast address prefix that we have discussed and after that 45 bits represents the global routing prefix and then the 16 bits are for the subnet ID and 64 bits are for the interface ID. So this is the constitution of the address of the global unicast address. How this global unicast addresses are made from this. It starts with 001. After that it has the 45 bits for global routing prefix then subnet ID and last one is the interface ID. Next, come to the next address that is the unique local unicast address. So here the unique local address is also similar to the IPv4 but this is similar to the private addresses. So here the globe, it has the globally unique addresses. It means every device in the network have a unique address that is associated to it. So it is used in private networks such as within the corporate site. So to design a network within an, a company, so we can use this unique local addresses that will give a unique addresses to a particular device. So these addresses are not routable on the internet. It means if we want to assess the another network or the internet, we can't access the uh, network or internet using these unique local addresses. For that we have to, uh, we must have a public IP addresses to connect to the other network. So here it is configured through the DHCP v6. So these are, these addresses are configured using the DHCP version 6. So after that it has a prefix of fd00 double colon and slash 8. So here the fd00 is the prefix and slash 8 is the prefix notation. So here the original IPv6 RFC defined a private address class which is known as the site local. 
so this is the format of the unique local unicast address the first 8 bit represents uh, represented as fd00 and next 40 bits will tell about the global id 16 bits will tell to uh, tell us to about the subnet id and last 64 bits will give us the information about the interface id so this is the format of the unica unique local unicast address so it will start with the fd00 and it will have 40 bits for global id 16 for subnet id and 64 for the interface id the next address is the ipv6 link local unicast address so here the link local address have small scope it means it is assigned in a very small organization or a very small network like it only uh, applies within a network segment so here the router will not forward packet to another network similar to as the unique local unicast address these link local unicast addresses are not routable it means it cannot be accessed outside the network so it is configured automatically and manually so it can be configured by using the dhcp version 6 uh, or we can use the manual configuration to configure the link local addresses after that it is used for auto address configuration and neighbor discovery so these link local address have a very significant role in finding the auto address configuration and the neighbor discovery so it is have the prefix as fe80 double colon then slash 10. So here the FE80 tells about the prefix of the address and slash 10 is telling about the prefix notation. So let's see the link local unicast address format. So this is the format of the address. It will start with the first 10 bits are reserved for the prefix that FE80 and after that 38 bits are reserved for global ID and 16 bits is for the subnet ID and 64 bits are for the interface ID. So this is the format of link local unicast address. Next is the IPv6 embedded IPv4 unicast address. So here the IPv6 embedded IPv4 unicast address. Here the IPv6 transition mechanism include a technique for device and router to tunnel IPv6 packet dynamically under IPv IPv4 routing infrastructure. It means if your device is present in a IPv4 routing infrastructure like your device contain the IP addresses that are associated with IPv6. So if you are present in the IPv4 router configuration for that you have to use the IPv6 embedded IPv4 unicast addresses. So there are two, two methods in this. The first one is IPv4 compatible IPv6 address. So here in this the IPv6 device are assigned with special IPv6 unicast address that carry an IPv4 address in low order 32 bit. It means the device, the uh, IPv6 device which is present in the IPv4 network will have the IPv6, a special IPv6 unicast address in which it will embed a IPv4 address in lower order 32 bits. And the next method is IPv4 mapped IPv6 address. So here it is used to represent an IPv4 address within the IPv6 address space. So here what we are doing, we are representing the IPv4 addresses in between the IPv6 addresses. So it is mainly used internally within the implementation of application like APIs and the operating system. So these are the two methods in IPv6 embedded IPv4 unicast address. So let's see its format. So this is the format representing these two. So first one here we are using 80 bits that are the zero continuous zeros. After that 16 bits are 0, 0, 0, 0 and 32 bits representing the IPv4 address. And the, in, in another method here are 80 bits with the continuous zeros and 16 bits with the FF FF and 32 bits are with the IPv4 address. So here the two addresses are pretty much the same. So the only difference is the 16 bit in, mid, uh, in middle. So when these are set to 0, the address is an IPv4 compatible IPv6 address and if these bits are set to 1, then it is an IPv4 mapped IPv6 address. So these are the two format for the IPv6 embedded IPv4 unicast address. 
The next one is the IPv6 special unicast addresses. So these special unicast addresses are like loop back unicast address and the unspecified unicast address. So here the loop back unicast address is used by a device to send an IPv6 packet to itself. So this is a like a ping to send a ping message to itself to check that the device is connected to the network or not. So these loop back unicast address are similar to that of IPv4 loop back addresses and its format is it has continuous zero with the last uh, last 16 bit will have a 1 and last and it prefix notation is as slash 128 or we can also represent it as double colon 1. So the next one is the unspecified unicast address. So the unspecified unicast is represented by the continuous zeros or we can also write it as sing. We can write only the double colon to represent the unspecified unicast address. So here the unspecified unicast address it is used in the source address field of the packet when an interface doesn't have an address and it is trying to acquire one dynamically. So here what happen if a device doesn't have any kind of address and it is trying to uh, trying to have an address from DHCP uh, v6 so uh, for that what happen it will specify it as unspecified unicast address. So it is represented by the double colon. So it indicates the absence of address to a particular device. The next we are going to discuss about the IPv6 address scope. So as we have discussed about the number of unicast addresses, so what are the scope of these addresses? So the link local addresses are assigned to a particular network or a very small network where there are a few devices having a unique addresses that will only communicate in within the network but if if they want to assess the another network they doesn't assess it means it doesn't routable to the outside network so the link local address have a, having a very small scope and they are all known also known as the local scope and the side scope so the side scopes are the corporate uh, like we are designing a network or a corporate in a corporate uh, company so in that there are the multiple number of devices and each devices have their own unique local address so can, they can communicate in the network efficiently so these addresses that are given to a devices in a in a lock in a side scope that are representing the unique local address scope so these devices and uh, similarly the devices cannot routable any of the data packet outside the network for to route the packet outside the network they must have the public ip addresses so the unique local addresses have the larger scope as compared to link local addresses Coming to the next part that is global unicast address having the global scope because it is a like take an example of a internet. So the global unicast addresses are addresses which have a number of devices, number of organization or corporate. It will constitute of the unique local address as well as the lo link local addresses. It, it, it consists of side scope as well as the large number of local scope. So these are these uh, together made the global scope and it will make a, a network like a internet. So these are about the IPv6 address scope. So this is all about the unicast addresses. Thank you.